CNN. A Texas judge on Friday temporarily blocked a new law banning gender-affirming care for most minors. In the state, District Judge Maria Cantu Hexel wrote in the interim injunction that the law would result in the loss of access to safe Effective and medically necessary treatment for transgender adolescents experiencing gender dysphoria. The judge said law possibly violated three different articles Texas Constitution. These include fundamental right of parents to make decisions regarding care, custody and control their children. But Texas Attorney General's office said in a press release that it has filed an appeal with state. Supreme Court, which will pause decision until verdict. If law takes effect on September 1st, Texas will be largest state in U.S. to enforce such restrictions. Cantu Hexel's decision came there. Judge in Missouri refused to block a similar law and allowed state's gender determination ban. Care for minors will go into effect Monday. Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott signed Senate Bill 14 into law in June. The measure prohibits health care providers from providing sex reassignment surgeries, antipuberty drugs, or hormone treatments to anyone under the age of 18 in Texas. And violators risk losing their licenses. Is facing. The law provides minor exemptions for children who begin receiving non-surgical gender-affirming care before the 1st of June and have received 12 or more sessions of mental health counseling or psychotherapy six months before starting prescription medication, with the help of which they need to leave the treatment. Alex Sheldon Executive Director LGBTQ Health Advocacy Group GLMA one of litigants congratulated the decision on Friday said the court's decision to protect uphold rights transgender youth their families has empowered us healthcare providers in Texas other plaintiffs in the case include five families with transgender children and three doctors who serve trans patients Gender-affirming care encompasses a range of evidence-based treatments and approaches that benefit transgender and non-binary individuals. Types care vary with age and goals of the recipient and are considered standard care by many mainstream medical societies. Although care is highly individualized, some children and parents may decide to use reversible puberty suppression therapy. This part of the process may also include hormone therapy, which can lead to gender-affirming physical change. However, surgical procedures prohibited under the law are not usually performed on children. And many healthcare providers do this. Does not offer transactions to minors. Some Republicans have expressed concern about the long-term consequences of treatments. But major medical associations say gender-affirming care is clinically appropriate for children and adults with gender dysphoria, according to the American Psychiatric Association. With a person's gender identity, a psychological distress that can occur when the sex assigned at birth is